Man, lots lots of challenges. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd probably say at the top of the list is many times patients, um, they, they, they think they have adequate health insurance. They show up and say, oh, I have health insurance, but they have no understanding of the product that they have purchased from the health insurance company. So they say they choose Anthem, Blue Cross, Aetna, whichever one, they don't have a true understanding of the policies, uh, the, the, the agreement that, yeah. that comes along with that. So many patients will have uh, high deductibles, meaning they will be paying their monthly premium, but the product that they purchase from the insurance, the agreement says that you have to spend $15,000 before the insurance will pick up any bill. Many patients don't understand that. That's a deductible. Many patients don't understand uh, what a copay is versus coinsurance. You know, you got your copay, you come in every time you utilize it, depending on uh, what services you do. You go to a specialist, you go to a primary care, you go to PT, you go to Cairo. There's a there's a copay, but that copay changes depending on the incentives. Uh, and then there's this other thing called coinsurance, right? So now you got coinsurance, which what is coinsurance? Well, after you get the bill and the total amount, depending on where you go to, now you're responsible for a portion of that, depending on what your coinsurance percentage is. So the, the biggest challenge that uh, I've seen is one patient showing up, not understanding their services, not understanding their insurance plan. They think they just show up with the insurance card and oh, my insurance is going to take care of it, <laughs> where the majority, um, I'd probably say half of the bills that we will see uh, will, will turn out to be patient responsibility meaning the patient yeah. will be responsible for the actual bill. And so that's when you get people say, oh, I got surprise bill. I got this bill two months later. I got this bill for $600. <laughs> I went to urgent care um, because they don't understand their policy. So that's one patient. That's one of the challenges, educating the patient on what your actually insurance is doing for you. Uh, two is actually collecting from the insurance companies. Wow. So many times the insurance companies like to play these, they like to play these games. Oh, you didn't have enough documentation. Oh, I didn't get this. Oh, uh, uh, you know, you didn't put, you didn't put the Z at the end of the member ID number. We got to push it back. Wow. Um, and then they'll sign agreements with provider groups and they'll say, oh, you want to be in network with us. And uh, they will just negotiate discounts. So they will reimburse less and less for the services and then, you know, take two months to, to pay you for your visit. Um, so that's, that's another challenge is, is um, in the traditional model, the medical practices have just assumed the burden of collecting from the insurance. Yeah. It's just how we do business. We have a billing department, right? We have uh, revenue cycle management. We have a collections department. The medical practices have just assumed that burden. Um, but ex at Exhort Health, I say, well, that's how business is done usual. Well, we, we're we not doing it that way. I'm not going to assume the burden to collect from Anthem Blue Cross. Anthem is not my insurance. Yeah. It's the patient's insurance. So I'm, I want to empower the patients to engage with the insurance companies. And so if they come in, you know, services, if services are rendered, they pay up front for the services. And I say, hey, you know, deal with your insurance to, to get your reimbursement, deal with your insurance, the insurance that you chose that you picked with the product that you bought. <laughs> and you talk to them about how they're supposed to be paying your medical bills, you see, and that's that's different. And so I think um, awesome. by applying pressure to the insurances and actually empowering the patients to understand the products that they're buying, um, we can get insurances to do a little bit more for the patient. I always ask patients that have health insurance. I say, oh, your health insurance, I take care of your health needs. Uh, what's your health insurance do for you this month? Hmm. What they do for you? Oh, oh, did you go to the urgent care? You hurt yourself? Oh, did anybody from your health insurance call you and see how you was doing? Oh, they didn't. But you're paying them every month. But you, you, uh -oh. your doctor, the doctor that you see is checking up on you. They're seeing how you're doing. We're sewing up the laceration. You know, so um, I, I I love my, my health insurance people, but um, I do think that the model, if, if they do not up their game as far as taking care of the patients and making it easier for doctors to use, it's easier for the patient to use insurance until they make it easier for the patient to use insurance versus cash, because I'm a business owner 
And I would take a cash patient over an insurance patient all day long. Wow. Because if I take the insurance patient, I got to spend money to try to get that money now. That's true. The patient show up with cash. I got to spend no money. It's exchange right there. It's done. But the actually taking insurance, at doing it the normal way that medicine is done, the doctor's office has actually has to spend money to collect. What's up, family? If you enjoyed this clip, click the link down below to check out the full episode of this interview and remain blessed.